after a hard week of refereeing several games and training during the week, Monday is my only night off. And for that, I have a beautiful, relaxing bath. Here's a beautiful bath bomb that I chuck in. You can tell this is a new set because I chuck it in, not knowing that it's actually got a plastic shell on it. So that didn't work so well. <laughs> and some bath salts. It's great for recovery. So I love doing this once a week. And like I say, it's my only day off. So I sit back, rewind, watch some football highlights. The referee learning never stops. There's me trying to get that bath bomb to work before realising you have to take the plastic off. So once I've figured that out, the water's nice and hot. Here we are watching, I think that's the, the Tottenham game. And ready to jump in and relax. Have to be really careful you don't chuck your iPad in. But I, I look forward to this. Never a free kick here, never a free kick. Really, the, uh, the keeper just runs straight into just runs straight into him. It's funny because the keeper just lands on his back. Like, you know when you see like a turtle stuck on its shell and his hands and feet are up in the air? <laughs> that's, that's how it looks. <laughs> that's me in the bath, just relaxing. But look at the keeper. Look at his legs. Come on, nobody falls like that with stuck on his back. <laughs> look, here it is one more time. Look, he falls on his back helplessly. Look, look. Oh, help, help, help. <laughs> nope, still a goal. Good call, ref. Here we go one more time. Look, oh, help, help, help. <laughs> so that goal was awarded. Rightfully so. And then after watching all the football highlights, seeing all the talking points, all of that good stuff, then I could put on a movie, usually just go onto Netflix or something like that. And just basically just chill out, an opportunity from a hard week of training mentally and physically just to relax um, and think about something other than than football for, you know, after watching the highlights for a good, I don't know, 45 minutes. And then it's early bed for me, no need to stay up, nothing good happens after 10 o'clock. So there you go, half nine, straight to bed, and that's because I get up really early in the morning and the routine starts again. That's at half three in the morning. So guys, if you like this behind the scenes content, click that link underneath my profile photo, put in your email address and you'll get awesome content.